He's Sagittarius. I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading for um, January of 2020. <clears throat> and I wanted to say to you, I wanted to, I wanted to take a second. <clears throat> I want to take a second and clear my throat and say thank you for, thank you for your help that you extended to my friend Tippett, um, Michael Anton Tippett. He passed away uh, before Christmas, and um, that's been really interesting to go through. I uh, love that person very much, and I very much appreciate you helping him <clears throat> for those of you who donated to his GoFundMe. So I'm going to leave it there, and we're going to go ahead and get into your reading for January 2020. Show me energies present for the sign of Sagittarius, please. to express love, express love to receive love. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. <clears throat> so is this reading Sagittarius about expressing somebody's feelings? Is somebody needing to express their feelings to you? Or are you needing to express with um, someone else? <clears throat> is a gift a token of love or appreciation something that's necessary here to get the ball rolling or to calm things down? You have the fool falling out, popping out here. <clears throat> New beginnings. Change. Learning from mistakes, learning from previous experiences, which is great. It's a major arcana card, so it indicates that actual change has happened. <clears throat> a new phase in your life is about to take shape, but that can't happen. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. Ugh. I don't even drink milk. Um, or eat cheese, but apparently I'm hacking it up today. Um, yeah, these things can't happen unless you have learned or the person that you're dealing with has learned from them, <clears throat> their experience. With the star coming out. So, Aquarian energy. <clears throat> oh my god. Um, this is about healing. It's about new, new chances, taking on new opportunities that, uh, may bring you in the light, in the spotlight, bring somebody else into the spotlight, highlighting certain things. This can also be a situation where um, somebody may have um, it's bringing things out in the open. It's bringing things out in the open. <clears throat> So you have the Four of Cups and you have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so this energy is basically one of knowing what you want and not sure that you're going to get it. Um, I don't know if this person that you are dealing with currently or if this is somebody from your past. There's been a lot of like retrograde energies or I, I don't even think we're in a retrograde. <clears throat> to be quite honest, I don't think we're in a retrograde. I think there's just a lot of like reconciliation energy out there. Um, it might be a situation where you are moving forward with somebody and they're uncertain if you're going to accept the offer that they want to go in or not. <clears throat> I feel very hot. Don't know why, because my house is a fucking icebox. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Two of Pentacles here. So... This is about communication, about different opportunities, change, potential, um, multiple opportunities. Sometimes if you're, if you're, somebody is wanting to express themselves about their emotions, about their feelings, about what's going on in the situation, <clears throat> do so now because it feels like the other person is ready to set sail for something else. <clears throat> that's what it feels like. Um, that's what it feels like. 
it's like somebody has things going on in their life. I don't know. It almost seems like a very slim chance of this happening. Anyhow, Sagittarius, do you want this? Like at the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of swords. I mean, this is being in your mind about a certain thing. This could also be somebody being terribly worried that the communication that they're giving you is not enough for you to do anything with. <clears throat> so they may be wanting to express their love or express their love through gifts. I don't know. Uh, for me, personally, money can't buy me love. Like, money cannot buy me love. Mm -mm. It doesn't work like that. You know, it's about the, 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 who the person is, their qualities, who they are, you know? Like, if they have money, great. But if they're a turd, what's that? What's that? I'm gonna spread fucking shit on a dollar? Like, what is that? <clears throat> Show me the fool here. Yeah, it feels like somebody knows your worth or your value at this point, Sagittarius, and you may not accept what they want. See here? You have that Ten of Cups again. In this picture, this Ten of Cups is happening in a stormy and rainy environment. People are running for shelter and cover. Um, I feel like this is the energy of what has happened in this situation. This person may have ran from a situation where there was connection, love, but for whatever reason, they ran. And it could have also been this energy that they may have been working out of the fool in reverse. This is uh, somebody who's very, they're reckless. They have a hard time sticking around. They get involved in situations because it's exciting, it's new, but they really don't have any longevity. It's kind of like that Knight of Wands energy, but it's stuff that they really need to learn about. It's it's growing up in a certain way. This this card always, <clears throat> for me, it indicates a fair level of growing up, of graduating to the next degree in your life. I'm not talking about literally like getting a doctorate or anything like that. I mean, sure, it could happen, but it's growing up in yourself, figuring out where the fuck you are in yourself. <clears throat> the five of cups here okay so it feels like this person may have regret in regard to what they have done or they may want to shine light on what they've done this is about shining light on things it's about opening up being vulnerable sometimes as well which is also a component of healing you know if somebody has done something shitty and they're holding it in what's the best way to release that and heal express it share yourself share your feelings and thoughts and move on you know, sometimes it's, it's interesting because it's like your energies, um, Sagittarius, it feels like you're already, it feels like you already have things in your life right now that you are set on doing the things that you are in motion. They're already in motion. You know, I keep getting these readings for a lot of the, the signs where it's like, you guys are doing your own thing and you're doing it well. And <clears throat> for some reason, this person feels the need to come back or connect or whatever it may be, like heal the connection. But is it something to stick around for? Is it something to stay for? Or is this something that you can let go of? Is this something that you can hear what they need to say and do and communicate? Or is it done, you know? Whatever it is, this person has guilt. I feel like they they feel like they squandered something. It's like squandered energy. And they're healing, you're healing, or you have healed. And I think they're very worried that you're not going to let them back in. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords for the Four of Cups, okay? <clears throat> it talks about being aware of the bullshit you put people through and understanding why they may not take you back. It's like a conscious awareness of it. If anything is blatantly obvious, it feels like that is. Show me the Ten of Cups here for Sagittarius. You have the Three of Pentacles in reverse here, okay? Okay. 
Three of Pentacles in reverse indicates energy where we're not willing to work with people, where we're not really interested in connecting or going the distance or building towards goals. You know, it's not really wanting to sign up with something with a, per a specific person. It could be because of what they've done in the past. Um, the Seven of Swords is <clears throat> a card of lying, thievery, it's cheating, it's being dishonest, um, creating irreparable damage into a relationship. It feels here with this queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. That's your energy, Sagittarius. It feels like you're on... <laughs> I keep getting this meme. Stupid memes. The internet is ridiculous. It's poison in my mind. Um, a meme. There's that white cat who's like sitting in the corner. There's that woman screaming. Um, something about living your best life. It's like this person is watching you or at least they're perceiving you to be living your best life. And I think that that is, <clears throat> it's kind of a harsh reality and a bit of a wake up call for them just because I think now they're realizing that you could have been part of their best life, <clears throat> which is hard to swallow. I think that that's the hard to swallow part for them. And it's them, it's them, their feelings. This reading is about their feelings, it feels like. Show me the Knight of Swords here. Show me the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius, please. You have the Hangman coming out in reverse, Piscean energy. The Hangman in reverse, especially in regard to this Knight of Swords, this is where you hear or you communicate it's coming through with information that may be difficult to deliver, but it's delivered nonetheless. Now, the hangman in reverse is essentially communicating an energy where we um, have evaluated a situation. We've looked at it from all angles. We've felt it out. We've figured out what works, what doesn't work. And it's letting it go. It's figuring out what you want to do in regard to moving forward with it. Um, it's a spiritual card as well to a degree, but <clears throat> it's a card of pause. This also may have been a situation where somebody left you or abruptly, with that Knight of Swords, abruptly cut you out and you just kind of dangled there for a long time until you finally licked your wounds and healed yourself, you know, and now this communication is back, which is frustrating. You have the lovers at the bottom of the deck for this, though. Um, it feels like this person, it's like recognizing a deep love for somebody or recognizing a significant connection that I think that they're very worried that they may have already lost. It's like the one that got away kind of energy. That's what I'm picking up on here right now, Sagittarius. It's like the one that got away. <clears throat> and I think you're the one that got away. <sighs> That's what happens when you're being a turd. Good things pass you by. Show me the two of pentacles for Sag. Yeah, there you are again, Sag. See, in the moon. <clears throat> Queen of Wands coming out with the moon here and the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Clarifying the two of pentacles, okay? So opportunities, potentials, different things to choose from. Um, you are done with that, okay? So with this moon here, this is about not wanting to deal with emotional disturbance anymore, emotional confusion and confliction, okay? What are you choosing to get that out of your life? The Queen of Wands is somebody who takes the reins of her life and moves forward. She's honest within what she wants and she's honest towards her convictions. She goes for it. What do you want? <clears throat> it almost feels here, Sagittarius, that like you already have a plan and a path and you're on it. And somebody may return or somebody may like catch you at the point where it's like they want something from you, but it just, it's not realistic. Because you have options now. It feels like they had options in the past or they exercised those options, but mm -mm, to no avail. Show me the nine of swords here for Sagittarius. You have three cards coming out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so you have... You have the Six of Cups, you have the Eight of Wands, and you have the Page of Cups. This is somebody wanting to bring an apology. It's somebody from your past <clears throat> wanting to communicate more with you. Okay, and here at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. This is basically not knowing what to trust, not knowing what to believe in a situation. Um, under that, you have the King of Wands. So you have the Queen of Wands here and the King of Wands. 
I think that that's where they're seeing you. <clears throat> or it may just be taking this person a fair amount of um, cojones, guts to, balls and guts to get up the nerve to talk to you or address this. But it feels nonetheless that this is what's going to be addressed. Six of Cups is somebody from your past. These are connections that are deep. They don't go away easily. You can't just date this person and wipe them away, you know, a month later or something. This is somebody that sticks in your life. Even if they're not in your life, even if, even if you knew them for a month, there's something particular about that connection, that relationship, that drives you insane. It's like not being able to let it go because there's such a connection. Um, I believe that that is soulmate energy. Now, I also believe that we don't just get one soulmate. I believe we have hundreds of soulmates, you know. Um, it's the people that help us change, change, change. Where is change usually happening the most? It's happening in times of um, <clears throat> advancement. It's happening in times of pain. That's often one of the biggest um, pivotal points in people's lives when they change. You know, pain is, is a great catalyst for growth development and emotional change you know <clears throat> but it feels like you're doing that you're doing that to hear this it's like bringing you back to a particular space in yourself it's like are you comfortable with that not being able to let it go though <clears throat> Once it's reintroduced into your mind, Sagittarius, it's like it doesn't leave. So it's kind of like paying a pretty price for entertaining something, you know? Like maybe something that you've let go of or moved past. <clears throat> moved past. Now it's like it's not it's not releasing. I'm going to get a sip of water. I'm like parched. It's the hero over here. Oh, okay, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and clarify these angel cards here. Be willing to express love. Show me be willing to express love here. Vehemently. Oops. <clears throat> you have the Knight of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords here twice. It's twice here. <clears throat> Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. But this is somebody who needs to communicate. They must communicate their thoughts, their feelings. They must get this off their chest. This is be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. It's hard to express love sometimes when you're cut off and cold, though. And I feel that that might be an issue with this person. Show me express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Yep. <clears throat> All about reconciliation here. Okay. And I don't know if this person is thinking maybe if I get them a big enough gift, they'll let me back in. Don't fall for that. That's not good. And I hope that they're not thinking that way, but some people do. Some people equate love with financial stuff and it's not necessarily the best, but <clears throat> whatever, you know. I'm going to go ahead and clarify a little bit more with a different deck just to see if there's anything else that kind of needs to come through. Show me the... Show me the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups for this person Sagittarius is dealing with. Or this also may be you, Sag. Show me the Five and Ten of Cups. Show me the Five and Ten of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, it feels like there's been a stalemate or like a long period of stagnancy between the two of you. Somebody went MIA, hangman over here, got really quiet. Now there's just been too much time that's passed. And it's taking a fair amount of strength to change that energy here. It's like there's a lot of guilt that within what's been lost here. There's a lot of guilt here because it could have been something different and now it's shit. Or at least it's <clears throat> shit for them, you know. It feels sad, Joe, that you've moved on. I don't, I don't, some of you may be in like your feelings really big time about this. Some of you may literally just be living your best life, doing your thing. And this person sees that and it's like driving them kind of crazy. <clears throat> Show me the nature of the Seven of Swords. So you have the star and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Swords. This is somebody having to look at their actions here and then somebody having to process the idea and the notion and the potential that you may not accept what they are offering. 
Either way, it's bringing light to it. And in a certain way, too, that helps people heal. You know, not everybody is equipped to speak about their feelings. A lot of people don't speak about their feelings just because it's very... People aren't in tune with their feelings, and they're not taught to be in tune with their feelings. You're taught to be nice and polite, and <clears throat> even if it hurts, stuff it down and smile and ask for more. You know, and that's not how to do it. So when we have this society that doesn't value feelings um, <clears throat> and shames men in particular, I said this, I believe, in the Scorpio video, but shames men for feeling things, you know, of course you're going to have somebody that's secretive or not on the table, like not giving you everything, not showing you all their cards, like reserved. <clears throat> be careful about that, though, too, just because they might still be holding back. But either way, it's an opportunity to heal. And even for them, it's an opportunity to heal, even if they do share this, whatever information it is with you. <clears throat> you don't have to, like, kick them to the curb or tell them fuck off. You can if you want to. But, I mean, compassion goes a long way. <clears throat> compassion goes a very, very, very long way, especially when somebody's trying to convey something that's difficult for them to share. So just kind of keep that in mind, okay? Show me the Ten of Cups here with the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah. Again, it's just a reiteration of what's going on. This person wants to talk to you. You've got the Eight of Wands here with the Hangman. This is somebody who's been very much on the fence about communicating because they're afraid you're not going to take their offer but and not work with them. <clears throat> but I think, I, I think you won't work with them. I think you'll be open to communication, but like actually stabilizing something and fortifying it, like, I don't know, that's up to you entirely, Sag. <clears throat> Show me the hangman in reverse with the knight of swords. Show me the hangman in reverse with the knight of swords. Yeah, you have the death card here. It says change, transformation, somebody wanting to change a situation so they can offer you <clears throat> stabilization in a relationship, going deeper in a relationship. But the thing, though, too, is that they may be offering this to a dead situation. That's the problem here, Sagittarius. This person could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. <clears throat> you may be dealing with somebody who's trying to offer something to something that has no life in it anymore. And they're hoping. Here's that, yeah. <clears throat> Here's that Six of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody from your past wanting to have a connection with you, wanting to make move forward with you. And having a plan and set goals to make things happen. They want a new beginning. Look at that. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to pull some advice for this reading. <clears throat> okay, show me advice for Sagittarius, please. What, what, advice, what advice can we give Sagittarius? What is that for Sag? You have this one that came out, this on the bottom, and now this. So you have the Five of Swords with the... <clears throat> pardon me. Five of Wands. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Um, this is conflict, okay? So no matter what, you're going to be dealing with a situation that is conflictual. It's a situation that has not either had resolve or it's something that is really difficult to define as far as getting through the obstacles of what they did, what you did, what the outcome can be. <clears throat> it's addressing problems in a situation. And also it's having to fight for your say, having to also um, fight for what you're dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. This talks about letting go of situations that are emotionally and mentally exhausting. <clears throat> finding calmer water, finding easier situations in life rather than staying in something that's turbulent, okay? Um, I'm going to let this reading go, Sagittarius. I, I don't know. It seems like you guys are living a good life right now and somebody comes in and really wants to hit it hard with you. <clears throat> and I don't blame them. You guys are really cool. I love Sagittarians. I mean weird as fuck but you're great I, I love how dynamic you are as people and 
it feels like that's showing up here for this person too. It's kind of like the one that got away. The one, you're like the one that got away here. So I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> I'm going to close out here. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. And for those of it, blah, 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 for those of you that did help with my friend Tippett, Anton Tippett, um, thank you so much. That was really, really helpful. And <clears throat> I'm glad that he's not in pain anymore. That's what's up. I'm glad that he's not in pain. Yeah, so miss my friend. Happy he's not hurting. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.